What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through just a couple few or just a couple simple features about the Thinkorswim platform that ideally you will use to help customize your chart, get the look and feel for your chart in a manner that you like. Okay, so if you can see on my chart here, okay, I have a couple cool things. You can see that the cursors on my chart are purple. Right when I scroll across, you see purple. You can also see that my candlesticks are completely filled. You can see that the volume here is not overlapping the chart. So let's just dive into it. All right. So for those of you that are beginners or people that are dealing with Thinkorswim that aren't super advanced with this actual um, particular piece of software, I'm going to show you what to do. So when you come into your charts and you know you type in a stock, so let's say we go to Netflix, you know whatever it may be. So now that we're on Netflix. Right, what we'll do here, let's say you wanted to change the appearance, so you go to appearance, change the appearance of your stock chart. Let's say for whatever reason, I like my candlesticks on my chart to be open or have a space, I can click this fill up or fill down, and then when I hit apply, you'll now see that the candlesticks are no longer filled in. I personally like seeing the candlesticks filled in. So I would go back up to the gear icon into appearance and I would hit fill up and fill down and apply. And now you can see the candlesticks are now all filled in. Another cool thing about the platform that a lot of people like is this additional space. You see how the price action on Netflix stops there, but I have all this extra space on the right side of my chart. When you first download Thinkorswim, Usually, the platform already comes preset, and your chart is probably going to look something like this. All the way to the right. And people always ask me, how do you get that open space on the right? How do you get the open space on the right? And I'll show you. The way you go about getting that open space to the right is you go up again to your chart settings. Everything in this video, we're gonna be dealing specifically with the gear icon classified as chart settings. So we'll click into chart settings. Here we would go to time axis, and we click expansion area, 100, apply, okay. And now we're going to have all this additional room to the right side of the chart. Okay, let's focus on my cursor now. You see how my cursor obviously is purple. When you naturally download Thinkorswim, the preset is going to be gray. It'll be a color like this. That's what you will see. Well. If you would like and you want to change that color around back to appearance, you go to cursor and make that whatever color you choose, okay? And you hit apply. And now you can see I'm now on this cursor. Okay, let's say when you first download Thinkorswim, you have your volume over the charts like this. And you don't want to have the volume overlapping the chart. You want to see it separate. You would go into appearance, or sorry, you go into the gear icon. From here, you would go into your general tab and you click overlap volume, unclick that, apply, and OK. And now you can see that the chart and the volume are completely separate. They are not one and the same. And the reason we like doing that is because when you have the volume overlapping the chart, every once in a while, the volume will run into the candles and it can kind of become kind of confusing. And I'll show you which I, what I mean. So let's go back and we'll, we'll do overlap volume, okay? So, so here's it, we'll go to, um, let's do maybe this one. So like here you go, here's an example. Like right in the morning, right, when the volume is going up, or you can see there's a lot of heavy volume, you can kind of see that the volume is overlapping into the actual candles. And why would this matter? And I'll show you. So you see how the volume is indicated as blue little bars? Well, here's a trick to change that. You go back to appearance, okay? And when you're into appearance, okay, let's do this. Volume bars, color as symbol ticks. When I do this, the volume will show as green, red, or white, okay? Now you can see where this might cause a problem. If you have overlapped volume and you have your volume as the symbol ticks, green matches green volume, red matches a red candle. So you can see every time a candle's red, it'll have red volume. Every time a candle's green, it has green volume. So look right in the morning. When you have the volume the same, 
you can see there's a big red volume bar, but the actual candlestick's red, so you can get this interfering color right here, where your candles and your volume's red, but since they're overlapping each other, you can't really see the volume bar very well. Okay, and if we look at a stock maybe um, like AMD on a five day, five minute, let's say we're looking at here. Here's a good example. Ready? You see this big, massive volume, all green, but it's covering my volume bar. So you can kind of see that might cause a headache because now it might become challenging to actually see the candle. The candle's green and your volume's green. So it's kind of challenging to actually you know, <laughs> see the candlestick alone. So that might cause a problem for some traders. Well, the simple fix for that would be to go up here to your appearance. And what we're gonna do is, we oh, sorry, we're gonna go to general and we'll do no overlapping volume, apply, okay. And now the volume is off our chart and see how much more clean that is. As you can see now, it looks much, much better with the volume being down here, not overlapping our candlesticks, okay? So that can be a major, major benefit to your trading in general, just right there, okay? Something else that you might want to take a look at in this particular area is going to be under your appearance, okay? Um, your chart type right here, when you first get your Thinkorswim platform, it might not be on candlesticks, it might be as a bar chart. It could even be as um, a line chart. It's been a while since I've had to actually do a fresh start at Thinkorswim. So I can't remember if they start you off on candlesticks or on bar charts or line charts, but the most common is going to be your candle right here. Candle, and that's going to naturally be the particular setup in candlesticks that you would want to have on your chart. Those are pretty much most of the common basic features of the chart settings tab. Now there's a few other things in here that you really don't need to mess around with too much. I'm sure if you have a different style of trading or there's some things you would like to know, then of course you can play around with this. But for the most part, all the features that I've shown you in this chart settings are naturally what you're going to need to play around with when you first get your Thinkorswim platform set up. So I hope this video helps for a small little tutorial on how to use the chart settings tab here on Thinkorswim. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in and please stay tuned for the next video. If at any point you would like to join into any of our stock trading services, it's all gonna be located in the description of this video below. We have a Facebook group, we have a free chat room, and we also have premium services for trading if any of you guys are interested. Thank you guys once again for tuning into the video and we'll see you on the next one.